Okay, hello. Can uh, can everybody hear me all right? Everybody see me okay? Ah, there we go. Starting off with a, a nice chuck emoji there. That's what uh, that's what we like to see. Awesome. How's everybody doing on this wonderful Saturday? Good stuff. Okay. All right. Uh, everyone hear the game all right? Hopefully so. Um, I just... Uh, la last time when I actually listened back to the stream, it seemed like the... Uh, yeah, seem seem like the game actually was very loud, so I've uh, I've turned it down a little bit. Um, also, I for some reason had the music really low. Not sure why, but um, anyway, so uh, I've turned that up. So should have a bit more, a bit more music during the boss fights and stuff, make it a bit more exciting. Um, so just to catch anyone up who's not who wasn't part of the last one or didn't see it. Uh, Okay, our audio seems to be very quiet. Could be turned up a bit. Ah, and also Chaos Killer. Um, I I do apologize. There was a message in the chat last time for me to give you a shout out because apparently you helped to test this mod, and uh, yeah, I I missed it. So apologies for that. Um, and yeah, uh, shout out to you, my friend. Uh, okay, so we're saying game audio is a little bit quiet, so it could be turned up a bit. Uh, let me do that. What about that? That a little bit better? Hopefully so. Nice rolling sounds there. Good stuff. Uh, okay, so just to catch anyone up who like wasn't part of the last stream, uh, basically it's a mod for Dark Souls 1 that uh, gives throwing knives a bit more power and a bit more variety. So um, uh, yeah, so throwing knives We've got the standard ones here. They do a bit more damage than the base game. We've also got toxic throwing knives. Uh, kukiri, which are like bleed knives. So it throws three knives at once and they inflict bleed and some good poise damage. And lastly, the javelin, uh, which are just really like... Uh, it's got it's got obviously the great arrow kind of icon for them. Um, you can only hold ten at once and it does quite a bit of damage. So, okay. Uh, right, so... Last time we got to Ornstein and Smo, um, I unfortunately wasn't able to kill them due to circumstances completely outside of my control. Definitely was not related to me choking in any way. Um, it was, yeah, yeah, obviously not my fault. Um, I'm sure you, anyone who saw it would agree. Uh, so, yeah, very good damage. Um, so I made a, a couple of questionable kind of cocky decisions at the start, like not getting the Firekeeper Soul. So our Estes Flask is not upgraded. We haven't killed Pinwheel. So 10 Flasks is the maximum we can hold. And uh, also I'm just deciding to not wear any armor just to, I don't know, make my life unnecessarily difficult or something. Um, we don't talk about the Capra Demon in this household. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I, I am going to go back and do the Capra Demon, definitely. That that might be one of the few bosses that I'll actually put some armor on for, uh, just because of the fact that, like, yeah, just getting stunlocked by those dogs as soon as you enter is pretty awful. Um, well, yeah, there's, well, we, we established last time the stone armor is actually made of, like, knives made of rock, so wearing the stone armor is actually completely okay, um, as per the rules. Uh, so, yeah, not an issue there. Um first time catching your streams very odd hearing your voice not coming from a green face beauty contest winner yeah i know it must be a bit bit strange right to, to, the, the truth is my skin is actually green under this this is like normal skin color makeup that i'm wearing so that you guys all don't feel too intimidated by my glowing green skin you know with how beautiful it is and stuff uh yeah thorn armor that's completely covered in knives um i i think I think I might have already messed that up, though. I'm not sure I can I can even get that. I might have missed one of the Kirk encounters, but anyway, anyway, all good, right? So, shall I shall I go try Ornstein and Smo? Let's let's give this a go. See if I uh, see if I don't choke. I did between the last stream and this one actually go and buy some more of the Kukri. You can only get them from the Crestfallen Merchant. Um, oh my God! Already terrible choke. There we go. Okay. Okay. Um, 
But uh, yeah, you can you can only get them from the crestfallen merchant in Sen's fortress. Uh, last time in the stream, I failed numerous times to do that little jump over to where the crestfallen merchant is, um, and uh, it was pretty embarrassing. Uh, first time on stream, and I died the most to or not died, but the thing I failed the most was doing that jump. Uh, and obviously, when I went to get the knives just before starting this stream, I obviously hit the jump every single time because that's just uh, typical, isn't it? All right, let's uh, let's get this done. Okay, first try, first try. Okay, here we go. Right, so yeah, toxic throwing knives. I'm gonna start off with these. Okay, there we go. We're gonna go for Smo first. Oh no! Right into the hammer. Oh wow, okay. Literally only two to toxic him. That's pretty wild. Okay. There we go. Do 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 do. Oh, okay, just dodge that. So yeah, I, I like to uh, I like to kill Smo first. I find Giant Ornstein a little bit better to deal with. I I just absolutely hate that charge attack that Smo does with the hammer. Um, really annoying when he spams it repeatedly. There we go. Three knives. Bush. It's all right damage. Oh, <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> wow, that was. Uh, <laughs> I was very, very lucky that that didn't hit. There we go. Okay, the bleed knives are doing some good work here. Uh oh. That was a bad call. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, we've got to heal. Okay. There we go. Ooh, all right. Having to flick between these uh, all these different types of knives with the down on the D-pad button is pretty hectic. Okay, there we go. Come on. Ah, oh, unlucky. There we go. Okay. Bleed. It's, it's activating bleed pretty consistently, which is handy. All right. Okay. There we go. We nearly got him. Ah. Oh, didn't quite get away. Ow. Worth it. Still healed a bit. Come on, come on, come on. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. There we go. Big one. There we go. Javelin for the win. Okay. Get this nice little scene where you see him mourning his friend. I guess you could call him Mornstein. Okay, no more jokes. I really need to smoke his here to get this fight done. Okay. Right. Okay, we got him toxic. Okay. Oh, fucking hell. Jesus. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Can I actually cheese him a little bit from here? A little bit of knife cheese? Not all three are hitting him, unfortunately, but... Is he actually just going to stand there while I do this? Really? Really? Is he... Is he actually just going to stand here while I do this? <laughs> um, okay. We take it. First try. First try. Absolute first try. Okay. That was a pretty good start, wasn't it? <laughs> Sorry, I almost certainly missed like probably about a million chat messages there. Um, but yeah, that was uh, whew, good, good stuff. I'm I'm pretty happy we started off this uh, this stream that way. <laughs> ah, yeah, that that was uh, yeah, definitely did get kind of lucky with the old cheese there. Um, Okay. Uh, oh, and Ben Wiseman, thank you very much for uh, for the super chat there. Hi, JK Leeds. Love your videos. By the way, have you come up with a new dad rap for one of your future videos? I do love your dad raps. Um, yeah, may maybe maybe I will. Uh, I haven't felt inspired to to do one in a bit, but yeah, perhaps I I will. Perhaps I will. Um, but yeah, that was uh, yeah that that was that was a good start. Good start. Okay, GG indeed. Okay. Ah, uh, and Doomwolf. Hello, Doomwolf. You actually stayed up just to uh, just to drop me a message. And Press as well. Hey, buddy. No matter how, how you slice it, it's still stuck to him. Good stuff. Okay. Great. Yeah, I, I, to be fair, actually, when I did the um, mega archery run in, uh, in Dark Souls 1, uh, I remember using the crossbow and the, the normal bow, actually. I did have a similar thing where he just got, like, stuck in that loop. Um, I might put a few stats into endurance, you know. As well as, uh, well as a bit of health. I mean, I know we don't need endurance to throw the knives, but, you know, it's just good to, good to keep moving, isn't it? Good to keep moving. Okay. What about the amazing chest? Yeah, we're going to see that. Sleepers for the week. That's right, Doomwolf. That's right. Are you playing some of your favorite game, Dark Souls 2, at the moment? I hope you are. Okay. Oh. Plot twist. Thou that tarnishest the godmother's image, I am Gwyndon. I'm probably going to regret that. And thy transgression shall Two be punished. <laughs> Thou shalt perish in the twilight of Anor Londa. Ah. Okay. You, clear, you weren't listening. Clearly, you weren't using your Guinevere. <laughs> yeah, that's catfish. Okay. All right. Uh, I, 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 I don't think that's going to have any negative consequences whatsoever. I'm sure that was totally fine. Um, anyway, the, the the number one reason I actually wanted to do Ornstein and Smo first was to be able to warp. Look at that. I can warp to six different places. I'm pretty sure that nobody who's played Dark Souls before has ever been able to warp to that many. I'm pretty sure most people get maybe four, five, but I've got six. I'm that kind of top tier player, you know? Right. Best character FromSoft ever made, just killed. Yeah, I I'm sorry. It, it had to be done. It had to be done. You know? Just, there was no other way. 
No other way. Yeah, the NPCs outside the ONS arena. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably not going to go that way yet, to be honest. Uh, okay. I did also, last time, stock up on the old uh, kukuri, so I had some in my bottomless box here. Uh, I'm, I'm actually also very glad we did all seen in Smo there, because before this, so the guy who made this mod, uh, Pepe Souls, basically sent me, uh, after last time I was talking about doing save states, and he sent me a thing, uh, a program that lets you make save states on PC games. And basically, I was trying to figure out before the stream, couldn't figure it out. And I was like, okay, I really hope that I don't choke repeatedly to one scene in the Smo and have to run back to the Crestfallen Merchant to buy more knives. And luckily, that didn't happen. We did it first try, so. <sighs> okay. He, just, he turned into the most unspeakable evil just to be the first one to be able to <laughs> go to six places. Six places. Six, six, six places. Perfect. Okay. It, 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 did, it did have to be done. It, it did. There was, uh, there was no, no other way. There was no other way. At that point in my knife, I just had to make that decision. Okay. Six more than I've ever seen. Yep, exactly. 100%. Okay, so... Um, now that we can warp... What am I thinking? Uh, so, maybe maybe I should now return to... Uh, if any of you guys watched my throwing knife, my Dark Souls 1 throwing knife video, the original one, you remember the point of insanity was the stray demon? Um, and I did manage to kill the stray demon, but I had to basically wait, like, nearly 25 minutes for the poison just to slowly take it away. So, shall we, shall we go now to the place of my sanity's undoing? Should we stray off the beaten path? I think we shall. Okay. Nice haircut. You believe that the Kukri's actually bleed stray demon in one hit? Oh, well, this is going to be wonderful then. I'm going to toxic him as well, just because that's got to be done, you know? Ah. <sighs> okay. I, I so thought I was going to choke that. It's not, it's not even the bosses that cause me any issue. It's just trying to do really simple, basic platforming that uh, usually kills me in these streams. Okay. There we go. Ah, just have a nice chill, right? Ah. So, what do you, what's uh, what's everyone been up to today? Anyone done anything exciting before this stream? Uh, I pretty much just uh, played with my son and worked a bit on this horrific Dark Souls 2 run that I'm doing. Horrific. Studying. Nice. We... Oh, you finished 100% secure today. Nice, nice. You know, I've always wanted to do a challenge run video on that, but I just don't really know what to do. It feels like the options are pretty limited and most of the stuff's already been done several times. That one jump at the Iron Column <laughs> took longer for you to do than Unseen and Smo. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's that's definitely true, unfortunately. <sighs> Trying to beat my first playthrough of Dark Souls 3. Nice, nice. Good luck with that, my friend. Okay, the most feared enemy here. Torch Hollows. Nobody likes them. Literally nobody. Go away. Go away. Oh. Fighting those guys is really torture. I've been protecting Super Earth and spreading democracy. Good stuff. Oh, I missed. Oh, what am I, what am I doing? I, I was just pressing R... Oh my god, these guys are still following me. I, I, I was actually just pressing R1 there and thinking, wait, wow, the knife missed. But obviously it's square to... <clears throat> square to throw the, throw the knife. Uh, yeah, professional uh, Souls player here, of course, guys. 
Go away. I hate these guys so much. Uh, they're coming after me for that torture joke. That, that's what that's what it is. They're like, we're not going to take that from you. Coming in here, making that kind of pun. Okay. Ooh. Oh, come on. How the hell did that guy readjust himself so much in midair? That was unbelievable. Okay. Wavy, flamey, sick. Power of the gods. Okay. I've been planning a secure video, but I keep getting distracted by how amazing the game is and just want to play it. Yeah, that's true. If anyone wa Hey, if anyone wants to take him, I'm open for discussions. You don't mean that, Babs. You don't mean that. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to take care of these guys just because I don't want them following me down into the stray demon fight. That'd be pretty annoying. Pretty savage that the knives can't even kill these guys in one hit. Alright, so toxic. Well, actually we want we want to heal first, don't we? Because we're gonna lose a nice chunk of health there. Oh, that was a bad decision. That was it. I thought he wasn't gonna turn around quick enough. Okay, okay. Okay. There we go. Okay, there we go. He's poisoned already. <clears throat> right, let's see what uh, let's see what Chaos Killer was saying is true. Oh shit! That we bleed him out in one hit. Yep, it did. Okay, there we go. Yep, that does indeed bleed him out in one hit by the looks of it. Good damage. Very good damage. There we go. If any of you members out there, make sure to get those chuck emojis in the chat, yeah? We need them for these kind of fights. Bush. Bush. There we go. Getting things done. Awesome. Angry Chucks. That's what we need. Ow. Oh my god. I thought I really thought I was going to choke there again. Alright, heal, heal. Maybe I should actually go get that Firekeeper Soul after this instead of just messing about. And just running around with unupgraded Estus for some reason. Oh no, it missed. There we go. There we go. Yep. The signature choke near the end. There we go. Ah. Oh. Bled like a stuck pig. Yeah, he did. He did. Can you imagine if you had like a, a stray demon just over a, a roasting fire? Like just turning it round, slowly cooking it? That'd be pretty nice. That'd be pretty nice. Okay. Okay, well, we managed to get that one done. Straight to the point there. Okay. Okay. Why didn't you use... Uh, because the kookeries aren't in this game normally. This is a mod that adds them. So, yeah, that's right. With these things, you might even be able to get to bleed Calamy on a regular basis. Yeah, yeah that's uh, that's very true. That's very true. Okay. Right. Let's get the doll. But there's, of course, the uh, Black Knight in the way. Wow, look at that. Eight points of damage. Tremendous. Ow. Ow. Can we, uh, can we toxic this guy? I'd like it if we could toxic this guy. Oh, that was right in the head. Oh, that was also right in the head. Yep, there we go. He's toxic. He's toxic. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty unnecessary to toxic him, to be honest, but it just makes me feel good, you know? Oh. 
Oh, I actually thought he wasn't going to come through here then. Get the dog, get the dog, get the dog. Get the dog before I savagely choke against the, uh, the Black Knight. Okay. Introduce the knight to the knife. Right, let's get the doll. Okay. Right. Look at that. Look at that toxic just slowly, slowly eating away his health bar. Ah. <sighs> okay. Let's see how much that does. Ooh, 220 damage. That is pretty good. That is pretty good. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Come on. Come on. We're gonna kill him. Ah. <sighs> Okay, Toxic has worn off. We're gonna get him. Ow. Oh, come on. We're, I'm actually gonna get cornered and die here. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we go. Good night, my friend. Good night. Or good knife. Either or. Okay. Yeah, he was thoroughly intoxicated there. Thoroughly intoxicated. Okay. Oh. Uh, the javelin special effect is that it hits like a truck. That's it. But you can only ca carry ten of them. You can only carry ten of them, so it's pretty, uh, pretty minimal. Pretty minimal. But, uh, yeah. Okay. That's good. Right, so we can, uh, we can, we can tick that one off. I suppose I should probably level up before I, I die and waste all these. Um. Saying that, we probably, I, pro I probably need to get more kukri. The Crestfallen Merchant is, uh, unfortunately not always the easiest to get to, especially... But I know that's what you guys want to see. You want to see me go attempt the sense jump and fail savagely, right? That's that's the real reason anyone's tuned into this. That's the essential content right here. Okay. I can't stay because I have to work for a paper due to next week for college, but good luck on the run. Thanks. And uh, good luck to you, my friend. Okay. Yeah, I've got I've got the bottomless box. So, and, that, and that's what I had done uh, in between streams, but I've already used up quite a few of the kukri because they're just so damn good. So, but also the problem is using the bottomless box means that I have to do two trips to the Crestfallen Merchant, which means two lot of doing the Sens jump. So, it's twice the torture for me. Okay. I mean, e even even... Even thinking about the sends jump right now is giving me some PTSD. It really sends me to a dark place, you know? But I guess we need to jump start this run somehow. So let's get this going. Ah, Mr. Castle. Hello, sir. Yeah, all good. You've arrived at just the perfect time, my friend. We managed to beat Ornstein and Smo and the Stray Demon, and I'm about to do this again. Guys, come on, come on. That was, that was, Jesus, that bomb explosion was loud. Um, come on, that, that was good stuff. Guys, ev everybody needs to donate like a huge amount of money for that because that was, you, you'll probably never see that in a Souls playthrough ever again. That was how exceptional it was. First try. Get a drink ready and take a sip whenever he misses the sense drum. <laughs> Bro, miracles are against the rules. In this <laughs> ah, okay. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff, right. So I'll stock up on those. Go along, try and make something of yourself. Go along, try and make something of yourself. Yeah, whatever, mate. All right. Oh my god. I, I just... 
I'm like, I, and I, I guess this is a particularly appropriate uh, reference because of Akira Toriyama's passing recently, RIP, but it's like, it's like in Dragon Ball, you know, like I'm, I'm one of the Saiyans where failing the Sens jump has only made me stronger and better at future Sens jumps. That's what's going on there. Oh, we're here to watch failure. Do worse, please. Okay, I, I, I'll purposely fluff it next time. Don't worry, press. Okay, there we go. Right. Let's get this back equipped. Whoosh. Yeah. Whoosh. Whoosh indeed, buddy. What about a yeet? You got any, got any yeets in there? A few yeets stored up? Okay. Let's go. Urgh. Docs or Gidoni. All right, but but we oh, come on. There's absolutely no way I'm going to make this again. I mean, yeah, obviously I was going to going to do that. You know, I wasn't even remotely worried that I might not make it. Did you beat Gwendolyn yet? Uh, no, but we could we could do that. You installed a jump mod or something. Pew pew thwack. Yes, we're. My friend, we will take as many pew pew thwacks as you. Pew pew pew. Easy for me to say. Pew pew thwack. Will it take as many of those as you got? Go along, Tro. Shut up. Okay. I'm just. I'm just not even surprised anymore. Ah. <sighs> Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. Very good. Very good stuff there. Okay. Right. I have a theory. Fail the jump to get more stream views next time. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe. Okay. Um, I, I, I realize I shouldn't have done this. I actually need to go and place the Lord Vessel. <laughs> do you know, the, the number of times I do playthroughs in this game and just forget to place the Lord Vessel after beating Ornstein and Smo, and then, like, uh, try to go somewhere. Like, I've done it before. I've gone all the way through Tomb of the Giants and to go do Nito, and then get to the end and realize I haven't placed the Lord Vessel. So I have to go back out and do it, which is, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty painful. Yeah, I could do Gwendolyn. We could do Gwendolyn. I, I also now can't rest at this bonfire because of the fact that uh, my hand slipped and I accidentally threw a knife at Guinevere. I, I saw real terror in her eyes as well, you know. I could see that she was Guinevereing for her life. Yeah, yeah, twice. Yeah, it's, I've got, I've got the, the shakes real bad. That's what it is. That's what it is. It was a butter knife? No, those were only used when we were fighting the Moonlight Butterfly, obviously. Okay, so I actually, yeah, I actually can't use this bonfire. She, this, uh, what? Oh. Wait. Wait, what? Okay, maybe I'm, maybe I'm like, Confused or so. I, I, I thought the, the firekeeper here attacks you and you can't use this one anymore. No? She's right where why? Ah, uh, that was that was a cruel joke there, classic steak. Hmm, steak. Okay. Oh, she's by the. Okay, really? I swear, I swear that I've killed. Oh no, maybe I'm. I'm probably misremembering. I, I, I thought that you kill Guinevere and then she comes and attacks you here, but uh, I guess I'm wrong. Oh. 
Okay, well, well, let's go do Gwendolyn while we're here then. This shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, yeah. Is that... Is that her there? Yeah, okay. I guess, uh, I guess it is. I'm not going to, uh... Oh, if you get the seance ring, she attacks you at the bonfire. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Thank you. Uh, my wife was just turning the, the light on. Yeah, I, w I was about to do that. It's a little bit, uh, little bit dark in here. Now you can see my beautiful face in full glory. Okay. Right. Uh, okay, I should probably... Let's level up. There we go. Yeah, you got 22k souls. Don't do anything rash. But I, I love doing things that are rash. Do, doing rash things is literally my favorite. But, I don't know. Like with, with most rash things, I need to do some cream things as well to make sure the rash dies down afterwards. Uh, okay. I might like men, but I don't know at this point. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. Here we go. I was, I was like, can Gwendolyn be toxic? But it's, it's probably unnecessary. Herod. Herod. Okay. Okay, we'll stick him with a bunch of knives and turn him into a Gwendolyn cushion. Okay. There we go. Oh, see, he's actually, uh, he's actually knifing me right back. Okay, let's just wait it out. There we go, that's what I wanted. Ow. <laughs> 74 damage. Okay, we might need... Uh, might need something a little bit better than uh, than just the normal throwing knives. Whoop. Oh, didn't bleed him though. Damn, d don't tell me this is actually going to be kind of challenging. The damage is, uh, yeah, not great. Maybe toxic? Or should I just stick with bleed? Ah, got away. Whoop. Oh my god. <laughs> ah. Beat Ornstein and Smo in the Stray Demon. First attempt on the stream. Died of Gwendolyn. Classic. But wow, that damage is not... Wait. Why, why am I back here? I rested at that bonfire, no? Yeah, Toxic at least allows for consistent damage, yeah. Or Javelins. Yeah, probably. Uh, oh yeah, of course, of course I can still warp there, yeah. I always, uh, I get confused as to which ones, uh, you can and can't warp to. There we go. Boom. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. I, I, I always find it weird in this that there's just some bonfires you can't, you can and can't warp to. Like, I, I've, I've had this discussion with a few people and, uh... Some people have tried have tried to say like, oh, it's because you it's near a covenant and stuff, but um, yeah, so, some of the, or it's near a significant character, but some of them don't make sense. Like, why why can you warp to the first tomb of the giant's bonfire but not the second one? What what like what's the logic there? 
That's why it sucks if you kill the Firekeeper first, you can't warp there anymore. Good point, good point. Whoa, Dark Souls has fast travel. Must be a new update. Okay. Cool. All right. Let's go. All right, yeah, so I think I think Toxic probably has got to be the way forward, right? Okay. At least, uh, at least, yeah, as Press said, at least if I managed to Toxic him, it, the, uh, it'll, it'll get him down. But the question is, can I get enough Toxic Knives in before he teleports to actually do the damage? That is the thing. Whoop. Okay, is that... Has that done it? I don't think it's done it. Come on. No. Okay, let's get behind there, not get too greedy, shall we? Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Damn. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to toxic him here. Yeah, javelins might just have to be the way forward. Shame I've only got five of them, because <laughs> I didn't stock up. Okay. Ah, uh, teleport too quickly. I should have waited there. Okay, never mind. But like, it, would it, would ten javelins even be enough to actually kill him? Then the rest is gonna have to just be with uh, the rest. We're just gonna have to be with the very weak knives. Whoosh. Okay. Okay, come on. Yeah, keep just spamming that shit. Yep. Oh, okay. Wow, 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 wow. That is, uh, that's pretty good damage. Okay, Chaos Kill is saying that 10 javelins is definitely enough. What about 5 javelins? <laughs> is 5 javelins enough? Probably not. Yeah, 5, but 5 should still get him fairly low. Um... And then hopefully we can just finish him off with uh, with some other knives. Probably kukuri or something along those lines. There we go. Bat. Yeah, okay. So two, two more is going to get him pretty low, actually. Two more is going to get him pretty low. The next step is uh, for the mod, I think, is to get a crossbow that can shoot out three of these things at once. You know, we could call it the uh, javelin. Go, 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 go. Ooh. Oh. Okay. All right, so now I just got to finish him with everything else I got here. Okay, he's doing that so I can just heal, just for extra bit of safety. There we go. Rum, 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 rum. Okay. Oh yes, we got the bleed. We got the bleed. Sweet. That was uh, that was a big W. Oh, there we go. Okay. Mm. 
Okay. Okay, let's not get cocky. Oh! Oh, heretic. Oh. oh, heretic, swathed in dark. Good stuff. First try. First try. Obviously. Ah. Oh. There we go. That's good. Um, yeah, I mean, these bleed knives really just gave me the strength to carry on. Okay. Now, is, uh, I don't think there's actually anything worthwhile grabbing here. Is the Steam notification on the stream? Yes, so uh, I haven't actually played... Um, Dark Souls on Steam all that much because I'm normally a console guy. Uh, only recently have I actually got the um, have I got this PC sorted. So uh, I actually don't have many of the achievements. So that was that noise that you heard there was actually me getting the achievement for killing Gwendolyn. Um, so yeah. Okay. Indeed, the dark sun has vanished. The sun has set on this boss fight. Okay. Right. I was able to beat every boss without too much resistance. I think Artorias killed me at most three, three or four times. Good stuff, man. Impressive. Okay. All right, man. We are smashing it out. We are really just uh, getting this going. So, okay. Let's have a think about this. I, I need to go and buy some more javelins. That is, that is a definite fact. So, probably the most sensible thing is to go up this way. Um, I'm going to try and actually just book it past the Firekeeper because, uh, yeah, I, I, I want to still be able to use that bonfire. So, I assume you're also the first player who ever got this achievement on a live stream? Yeah, absolutely. I, in fact, if, if you look at it um, on Steam, it actually says that only like 0.001% of players have got that achievement. And that 0 0.001 is me. So, yeah. Okay. Right, let's go. I, I also really cleverly, I don't think I opened the shortcut up here on the left. Um, so, uh, yeah, there we go. Please just, just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Ow. Ow. Yeah, go away. I didn't produce a blade. I produced a knife. There's a difference. Okay. Bye, Doom Wolf. Have a have a good one. Thanks for thanks for coming, mate. I know it's uh, it's proper late for you and that. See ya. Play Liza P. Yeah, I do need to. Uh, I do need to do that at some point. I do need to give that a go. I know. I know. Uh, Press was a, a big uh, big fan of that game. Um, he had some very high praise for it. Uh, I definitely do want to give it a crack, because the concept of it seems pretty unique and interesting. So... Oh. Knives have blades, technically. Uh, uh, sorry, Rajon, you, you did that incorrectly. You need to do, actually, you need to actually put fun fact colon, and then that uh, emoji with the glasses, and then an emoji of the finger pointing up. Uh, that's the way you, you need to do it. So can you, can you please rewrite it, but with those emojis and fun fact at the beginning? Thanks. Cool. Okay. Uh, right. So, boom, boom, there we go. Play Stardew Valley. I actually haven't played Stardew Valley, um, at all. Is I, I, I don't, I don't even really know much about what it is, to be honest. I got out-nerded. <laughs> I, I always thought, uh, that a fun idea for a challenge run would be to try play a Souls game with the mouse and keyboard controls. I actually thought a fun idea for a challenge run would be if I covered my face in butter and then stuck it into a toaster. What do you think about that? Okay, so which boss are we going to do next? That's the question. I mean, I'm here in Anor Londo, so I could, could uh, go through the Painted World. Could do that. But um, this guy Devlington87 is not here, and uh, I don't want to do that without him here because he'll be really upset if uh, if we do Priscilla's feet without him. 
What's the coolest thing about these throwing knife runs? Um, the fact that, like, the fact you get to throw knives. I mean, what's cooler than that? I literally can't think of a single thing that's cooler than that. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, she is, uh... And I've turned it the wrong way. I've turned it the wrong way. <laughs> I mean, uh, obviously, I completely meant to uh, to do that. Yeah, I can't I can't leave Devlington eighty seven out of the feet. Honestly, he'll be, he'll be absolutely devastated if I do the uh, if I do the feet without him. Out. So yeah, I'll, I'll make I'll make sure I'll, I'll get in contact with Devlington eighty seven and make sure that he's actually. Uh, uh, able to attend a stream where I do Priscilla because yeah I I just li literally if I did uh, Priscilla and he wasn't here to see it like he he would just curl up in a ball in his bed and cry and he's one of my good friends I don't want to do that to him I don't want to do that to him <clears throat> okay ah <sighs> right so what should we where should we go to now um. Oh yeah, I should place the Lord Vessel. I need to place the Lord Vessel before I completely zone out and forget to do it again. Poor Devi. <laughs> okay. I don't want to speak to you. Throwing knives runs, uh, throwing knife only runs. Net probably net a lot of street cred around these parts. Um, I like, I like to think so. I'm probably completely wrong, but I like to think so. Who's next? I miss. Oh, thank. Who's next? I miss O and S. Yeah, sorry, my friend. I mean, you'll be able to see it on the, uh, on the vod. Um, thank you very much for the the super chat. Uh, yeah, that's a good question. I, I I suppose I should I should probably do the Capra Demon. I should probably do the Capra Demon, shouldn't I? I mean, as I said before, Capra Demon is the goat, the giant offensive annoying twat. Okay, anyway, we don't need to see that. Uh, right, so. Yeah, go do my fave. Um, you should definitely rush the DLC straight away. I, I mean, to be honest, our damage actually isn't going to increase. So there's no reason not to do the DLC. Um, so, like, I, I, I could totally do that. Shame you can't chuck knives over the fog wall like Firefox. Um, well, yeah, I'm just trying to think. What, what, what do I need to... So I need to do the Hydra. Um, and then I need to go into the Duke's archives, so I, I could definitely do that. I think I'm going to do Capra. Uh, we're only an hour into the stream anyway. We've got time. I'm going to do Capra, um, and then I'll... Yeah, I, I, I think maybe I actually am going to do the steps to go to the DLC. Good suggestion, Mr. Castle. Wonderful. Right. Gaping Dragon? Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll do that at some point. I think we can all probably agree Gaping Dragon's not really going to be too, uh, too taxing. Famous last words there. Okay. Um, and also, if I go to Capra, I can stop by the merchant to buy uh, normal throwing knives as well. Okay, let's go. Oh. Ah, ah. Ah. Ow. There we go. Okay. Right. Yeah, when um uh when my wife Babza Jr was first playing Dark Souls 1, uh she got oh god, stuck like many people on the Capra demon. Um and she I I was I was at work and she was at home trying to do it and she was sending me all these messages just like full of swear words of like, oh my God, this is literally the worst thing ever. Um, this is awful. I'm getting so angry. And then she sent me this one message in cap saying, I did it. I fucking did it. 
and uh, it yeah it was it was it was amazing it was amazing she said she was shaking afterwards does she swear in Italian um, she swear yeah a little bit of both a little bit of both bit of English bit of Italian I love the dad jokes in the videos you make thanks I love them too funnily enough right let's go down to the crustiest of tosses here actually no the the second crustiest tosser, the most crusty tosser by far, or the crustiest tosser by far is uh, uh, Master Willem from um, from Bloodborne. Hundred percent, super super crusty, like a barnacle. Thank you kindly. What a nice voice that guy has. Ah. Oh. You didn't get stuck on Capri your first time. Well. You're a stronger man than me. I am 100% gonna gonna be sticking on the stone armor for this one. So <clears throat> this is one of the few times in the run I'm gonna use armor. But yeah, I I just getting stun locked by uh, by Capri is not cool. And I might also take the longer route through um, through the sewer bit here to get to Capra, just to make life a tiny bit easier. Okay. Oh no, oh no, oh no. There we go. Oh yeah, just the poise ring should be enough. I actually, I'm not wearing a second ring yet as well, which is probably something I should, uh, I should rectify at some point, shouldn't I? All right, good luck with fighting Gale. I just fought Gale three times in a row for the last video, so. Pretty well versed. Um, oh yeah, Leo ring. That actually probably is pretty good for this, right? Because uh, all the damage of the knives is thrust damage. You want green IRL? Damn. No, I actually am. It's just like YouTube's uh, YouTube's terms of service when streaming are a little bit. Uh, prejudice shall we say against us green skin folks so i actually have to wear like normal skin colored makeup like this so that i can actually stream and not get demonetized it's it's pretty harsh we're fighting our corner but you know there's just not as many rights for green skin people at the moment so yeah who knows hopefully times will change yeah have some of that did you see that? He, he got hit by the knife and he, he didn't even turn around to react. He just instantly stood, he just stood there still with his back to me and started healing. Amazing. Oh. That was a knife fight right there. Oh, what a knife. Right. Come on, what? Oh, they're coming, 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 Look at that dog just flipping its head around with a knife shoved into its eye. Oh, there we go. Okay. Right. All right. So yeah, we're going. We'll get. We're getting the poise on the go here, lads. Okay, and javelin. I love the description for the javelin. Big old thing. Uh, is is well. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe it's enough. So the 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 big issue is the throwing knives don't kill the 
the dogs in one hit. That's probably the biggest problem I foresee here. Um, can I uncross breed Priscilla, or is it easier to breed with her? Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. I, I think I think it's it's probably easier just to breed with her, to be honest. Yeah, I, I doing this fight with only regular and poison knives was so infuriating. Yeah, I can imagine that. That's actually why I didn't want to do it, to be honest. Right. Okay. Watch. Watch me still absolutely die here. Oh my god, that roll. That roll. <laughs> that roll. There we go. Oh, locked onto the wrong one. Come on. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. We're good, we're good. Okay, ooh. What is he doing? Um, okay. Yeah, I'm just going to come down here. Ow. Ow. Wow, even the toxic knives are doing some decent damage. Oh, miss. No, can he not be toxic? Oh. There we go. Let's get up here. Do, 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 do. Why is the damage actually not too bad? Yeah, good question. Um... Okay, so I, d I don't know why. I hit him with several toxic knives, but it doesn't seem to do the job, so... Let's just go with... Ow. We tank it. We tank it. Easily tank it. There we go. That would have been amazing if it had hit him under this little ledge here. Come on. Can you get out of there, please? Hopefully this fight is allowing my wife to recapture her memories of fighting him. There we go. Whoa. Yeah, first try, first try, first try. First try. Oh, and, and, and we did it with no armor, with no poise either. That was you know, just wild. Incredible. Incredible stuff. Oh. Good stuff. Uh, 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 staying a knife, staying a knife. Uh, 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 staying a knife. That's that's really why you guys tune into these streams because uh, you get to hear me just sing as well with my obviously incredible singing voice. Okay. Right. When is the feet reveal? <laughs> okay. I mean, so. Soul level one wouldn't be that much different. The only thing would be you'd just have less health, but the damage would be exactly the same. When is the singing in the shower stream? Soon, press. Soon. But I think, I think that will probably be on a, a different site apart from YouTube. There we go. Okay. All right, so um, I could actually just start the stuff to go and do the DLC and just go go do that now. You know, just go straight for the high quality content. You guys up for that? Please don't encourage him. <laughs> okay.
Um, oh, I actually do have loads of souls, don't I? I should probably, probably level up. Can we agree that the UK has the most amount of JKs? <laughs> probably. Okay. Um, I'm also debating, like, whether it's a good idea just to go and do pinwheel as well. Uh, because could you semester extra Estus Floss or I could just go for, I could just go for the Hydra and start the DLC process. What, what do you guys think? Do you want Pinwheel or do you want the Hydra? Give me a shout in the chat. Let me, let me hear your voices down there. Okay. Hydro wheel, pin wheel, pin wheel, pin wheel, pin wheel. Okay. Okay. Pin cushion wheel. Can you rank the top 10 bosses with tails? Uh, no, not, not right now. Not right now. That's a tail for another time. Yeah, might as well do pin wheel. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh. Right, let's uh let's just beeline it through here, right? Okay. These these guys are pretty angry. I think they've got a bone to pick with me to be honest, but anyway. Let's get on down here. The most important thing whenever you're going into this area is you need to make sure that your hair looks good before you come down. You know, you need to really give it a good catacomb. Ow. Come on. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. Oh. Uh, do you, let's see. Why did your ca camera quality dwindle compared to last stream? Um, I don't, I don't, I don't, I mean, I haven't done anything different with it. Um, does it, does it look lower quality? Um, it might be because I'm streaming in the day with, uh, natural light, perhaps. Um, but... A quick recap on how this mob works, please. Basically, throwing knives are a bit better, and there's some more types of throwing knives which do more damage. So, we've got normal throwing knives, we've got toxic throwing knives, kukuri, um, which do bleed and also Javelin, which just, uh, you can only hold 10 of them, but they do a big chunk of damage. When will you beat uh, Dark Souls 1 blindfolded? Uh, probably right before the heat death of the universe. Right. Okay. Yeah, also probably somebody has, somebody has done that. Okay, there we go. All right. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Ow. Ow. Oh. Okay. Well, that was pretty unfortunate. <laughs> I got absolutely boned there. Okay, come on. There we go. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Those probably should get this as it's... Uh, 
48,000 souls. <laughs> okay, don't hit me on the way down. Don't hit me. On oh. I. Okay. All right. Good thing I've only got two Estes flasks here. That's uh, definitely going to help. I can, I can already feel that. I can already feel the pinwheel choke coming. Might, I might just go all in with javelins, to be honest. I think that's probably the best way. Wow, that was quite a long spin, wasn't it? I guess I, I, you know, I, I guess it makes sense having these spinning wheels right outside pinwheel. Logical game design. Okay, there we go. Let's go in. He was getting it. Ah, Colonel Casadilla. Hello, my friend. How goes the knifing? The knifing goes wonderfully. It's been a very sharp stream, actually, so far. We've had a really good stab at this. There's been quite a lot of cutting humour as well. The wheels of the bones go round and round, round and round. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. That's, uh, I mean, there's the bone wheel shoe is pretty interesting. Uh, if, if only there was a Dutch guy who did streams who could beat these games with wheel-type weapons. That would be awesome. Okay. Right, I, I, I'm going to choke to pinwheel. I'm, I'm, I can already feel it. I can already feel the choke coming. Make sure you use the wheel to live. Nah, it's a wheelie good time, mate. You know it is. Baron's Castle, when will you play Elden Ring without using your hands? The better question is... Baron, when are you going to play Elden Ring where you mod every enemy into Godskin Duo? And I got the pinwheel achievement as well. You know, that's actually the rarest achievement in the whole game. I, I don't know why. Lots of people really struggle with this boss. I just can't pin down the reason why. Anyway, that was a real good time, wasn't it? Right. Okay. So. So, guys. Does anyone want to take a guess? What, uh, what mask do you think it's going to be? What mask do you think I'm going to get this run? Normally, I want to get Mask of the Father for obvious, obvious reasons. Wait, I got distracted for a second and missed Pinwheel. <laughs> Jim, <laughs> Jim Carrey. Yes, that's it. Pardon me, I totally do not think that JK and Press would like to be together romantically. Um, okay, I don't know if I missed a message above that, which explains the, uh, the context, but um, there we are. And it is... Okay, Mask of the Child, Mask of the Child. We, we take Mask of the Child. Um, obviously, I'm not going to put the mask on uh, because I don't want to cover my beautiful face. Like, I don't want to deprive anyone of that. Okay. Uh, please tell me I have a... Okay, I do have a homeward bone. Okay. Um, we're not going to go further into Tomb of the Giants yet. As much as I absolutely love this area so much, uh, we're actually going to instead start getting the DLC unlocked. Press, if you can cope with the 24-7 puns, uh, you can have it. You know, I was, um, I, I was talking with, with Babs, my wife, about a problem I keep having, where basically, I, it, it's kind of a habit I've had for a long time, where basically, like, I just randomly start thinking about Bruce Willis movies, like, just can't stop thinking about them, and I just can't seem to get rid of it. You know, I guess old habits die hard.
Okay, so anyway, uh, maybe I should level up actually. Okay. <laughs> um, also, uh, so I, I think are, are the Oscars this weekend? By the way, does anyone know know about that? Like, are the Oscars this weekend? I think I think they are. I'm I'm pretty sure the Oscars are this weekend. Um, and I, I was just reading about a film that actually. Uh, that actually like wasn't eligible for the Oscars. It's a new film called Constipation. Yeah, it wasn't eligible because it hasn't come out yet. Okay, so uh, everybody probably has left the chat now. Um, so let's uh, let's level up a bit, shall we? I almost swore in Italian. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Well, I'm, I'm just going to stick some points in in vitality just for the lows. The movie Laxative made quite a splash, though. Yep, that's true. That's true. Let's level the best stat resistance. Uh, no, I'm actually going to resist doing that, to be honest, as much as I would like to. So, uh, so I guess here's a, qu here's a question, actually. Uh, Chaos Killer, if you're still there in the chat, um, what's the deal with the Hydra? Is it, is it, can it be bled? Because I'm, uh, can it be poisoned? I'm pretty sure it can't be poisoned normally, am I right? Can you do a run in which you can't move, attack, dodge, or interact? Yeah, I can. It will literally be a 30-minute video of me staring at a controller. One javelin per head. Okay, cool. We take that. Oh, yeah. Oh, I do actually have more javelins. No, I... D do I have more javelins in storage? I don't think I do. Maybe, maybe there's, like, one in there. Yeah, they're, no, they're, they're up, they're up, they're good. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. If you do it, I'll watch it all. Okay, sure, man. Why not? Can it can it be poisoned normally? I I'm I'm sure I've tried. I'm sure I tried on the bow run with like poison arrows, and I could not get it to poison, despite shooting it with a lot of poison arrows. And I looked it up, and the wiki said it cannot be poisoned. I'm pretty sure. The knives are probably too slow to actually proc it. Yeah, I... Because I, I'm pretty sure I've tried on many different runs to poison it, and it cannot be poisoned. Um, the other thing is these golems around it are not a good time. Yeah, the wiki said. The wiki said. And obviously the wiki is never wrong about anything. Like, the wiki is completely 100% accurate. Yeah, that was it. I remember now. Yeah, on the poison on the knife run, the original one I did, I tried to poison it and yeah, it just would not get poisoned. Yeah, I I'm pretty sure it cannot be poisoned. I'm glad I've got some range. Honestly, like fighting the Hydra is probably one of my least favorite bits in the game normally. It's just like so janky. So janky. Ow. My face. Okay. Be good, pretty good if I could get him to kill these guys. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> yeah, triple kill. Beautiful, okay. Ow. 
Ow. There we go. I thought that was actually going to miss there, but it didn't. Ow. There we go. Okay, yeah, this isn't too bad. Not too bad. Ow. <laughs> I should say nothing. I should say nothing. I, ju I just jinx it constantly. Yeah, normal knife. Okay, that was pretty pitiful damage. Okay. Ouch. Damn. Not going well. There we go. There we go. Okay. And now this last extremely annoying one. Look at that. It, it, the head head just Oh. <laughs> God damn it. No, I'm I'm not even going to try for that cuz it's going to it's going to miss, isn't it? Come on. Oh, come on. How did that miss? How did, how did that miss? Am I crazy? I swear that just went straight through it. I swear that just went straight through it. Ow. Yeah. That, I, I, I'm not mental, right? That did actually just go right through it. Okay, that that did miss. That that definitely did miss. I'm not I'm not blaming that on anything but my aiming. Okay, that that did seem to hit. I don't know I don't know what the hell happened with those javelins there. Can I just cut out the middle man and hit it with No. No, of course I can't. Of course I can't. I'm actually going to use a humanity here because I don't want to don't want to risk dying at the last minute. Okay, come on. Uh, what the <laughs> Do I aim upwards? Can I can I like hit it? Okay. There's some multiply DS2 hitboxes as well. I mean, maybe because... Okay, that did actually hit it that time, but God, this is... It's going to take forever. Come on. Oh, there we go. 
There we go. Okay. Okay. Jesus, that was annoying. JK, what's your favorite movie? Uh, Clockwork Orange. Clockwork Orange. That's usually the one that comes to mind. Uh, okay. Ten minute fight with the with the golem? Yeah, it probably is gonna be. Probably is gonna be. I need to I need to probably nip back and get some uh get some more javelins, because otherwise that golem fight's gonna be pretty savage. Okay. So, so did anyone ever figure do you ever figure DLC or did FromSoft post instructions at some point for this specifically? Um, yeah, so, I, I, I don't know why, I, I, maybe I'm imagining it, I thought that there had been some instructions posted out as to how to get to the DLC, but maybe it wasn't, like, from an official site that I saw it, so, yeah, who knows, who knows. Uh, have you got the pendant yet? No, because I need to, um, I need to kill the golem and speak to Dusk. Okay. Um, so, yeah, let's go to Chamber of the Princess. Yeah, yeah, the Broken Pendant does refer to Ulysseo, that's true, but that is, but that's basically assuming that you've beaten the Hydra, um, because the Golem doesn't actually appear there instantly, you have to exit the game and then reload it for the Golem to actually appear. So, a lot of people could have just gone to that bit behind the Hydra and just been like, oh, there's nothing there. And actually never found the golem. So, like, it, it is something I, I think many people could have easily missed. Um, but anyway. Missed, just like my knives, missed the Hydra's head. But anyway. The Hydra's done. Finished off. Should have quit while he was ahead. Okay. Uh, there we go. Yeah, Dusk was already a thing before the DLC. Absolutely, but... It's just the fact that the golem isn't there after you kill the Hydra. The fact you actually have to reload the game for the golem to appear. That's the thing that I think is a bit, a bit kind of random. I never found the golem my first playthrough. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, that's the thing. I, I reckon a lot of people probably never found it. Just because, like, if the golem was there right away after you kill the Hydra, fine. But it's the fact that it's not. You have to reload the game. Um, I'd, I'd say pretty... Pretty certainly that a lot of people could have easily missed that. Okay. There we go. So. Um, and also, uh, another point. What if you'd already gone through the Duke's archives? You know, and uh, and killed killed that golem. Would you, would you think to go and randomly just start killing enemies you'd already killed again? To, um, to find the... Uh, to find that, to get that pendant, like, is there any hint that you should go to the Duke's archives and kill that one blue golem that's there? Um, <laughs> do you see that guy just fall off the fall off the stairs? Excellent. Because I th I think like at least in Bloodborne, when you get the Eye of a Blood Drunk Hunter, it actually does say to you you should go to this place to access the DLC, right? Um, like, it's pretty, it's pretty clear on that. Perhaps the devs relied on people's unquenchable bloodlust for golems. <laughs> yeah, may maybe it's that. Yeah, you don't want none of this. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay. Uh, I mean, no, the throwing knives is, is going okay. It's going okay, actually. It's going, going all good. Right, okay, so now I, I've got to run all the way. Yeah, that's another one. I, I really wish you could, uh, not that I've activated it anyway because there's no point, but I really wish you could warp to that bonfire at the bottom of Darkroot Basin. Um, that would be super convenient as well. Yeah, I, I managed the sense jump twice, actually. 
I managed it there and back both times, first try without falling, all right? I, I didn't want to embarrass myself on stream again, so I just, I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna make that jump. I just sensed the exact point that I needed to make it, and then I did it. Ah, <sighs> so as you know, my wife Babs is Italian, um, and uh, I actually won a bet with her the other day. Um, she bet me that I couldn't build a car out of spaghetti. So yeah, she bet me I couldn't. She said basically, I don't think you could build a car out of spaghetti, um, and. You should have, should have seen her face when I drove past her. It's especially appropriate because there's little cricket noises here in the basin. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Right. So let's go and kill this golem. Oh my god, the cricket noises. <laughs> the cricket. <laughs> <laughs> sure she would have passed away out of shock yeah. <laughs> exactly exactly hmm right Ah. JK, why, why, why are you all alone? Do you still fake the accent? I, th this is literally just the way I speak. I'm, I'm actually going to climb up here. Those were the sound of divorce papers waving in the wind. Is JK Leeds from Leeds? No, I'm, I'm actually not from Leeds. Are they good that look at that one backing slowly away are you from JK yes that's exactly right Baron I am from JK oh no oh no the golem actually is still coming I made a I made an error I made an error oh my god oh my god <sighs> damn I was just uh, I was just crystalling for time there and unfortunately I didn't crystal long enough Okay, come on, go, 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 go. JK Leeds just spawned one day and just said, you know what, I'm gonna play Dark Souls and yeet throwing knives at bosses. Yeah, that is actually my origin story. I came here for the good gameplay. Yeah, you, um, you came to exactly the right place. Look how good I'm doing climbing this ladder, guys. Have you, have you ever seen another Souls player climb a ladder this well? I mean, I've watched Press do this at least four or five times, and I don't think he's climbed the ladder as well as this. So does the mod you're using add more types of throwing knives, I might ask? Yes, it does. So there's throwing knife, toxic throwing knife, kukuri, and there's also javelin, which uh, I've, I've got, but I didn't equip until now because I wanted to show you, person who's just commented in the chat. There you go, javelin. Okay. Ooh. No, uh, that's actually not true. Baron's castle is actually a castle. Uh, I've actually seen pictures of him in real life, and he is literally an anthropomorphic castle. Okay. There we go. Osprey. Hey, JK. Best of luck with the run, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Crystal Golem. Here we go again. 
God, I love it when my character can walk this quickly. <laughs> Did you hear that little ding sound with it bouncing off? Oh my God. <laughs> that is absolutely incredible. Ding. I just have interest. How much does the normal throwing knife do? Oh, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. I've, I've, I've seen worse. I've seen worse. I'm going to actually finish him off with the normal throwing knives. Oh, normal throwing knives stagger. Oh, shit. Bink. Bink. Oh, my God. Look at the speed of that movement right there. That is absolutely unbelievable. Dink. First try. Okay. Oh, hi, Dusk. So, it is thou who rest most gracious. I am deeply obliged. I am Dusk of Ulusil. I am Dusk of Ulusil. So, before I disappear, allow me to ask one thing. My home, Ulusil, is the home of ancient sorceries. My hope is to pass this profound knowledge to thee with thine approval. JK, when will you play with your feet? Um, only when Devlington87 is actually watching this, because I can't do anything feet-related without him here. My heart will thanks. Then I shall, if thou art in need, see me there. Are we going to say hi to Ian the Sanctuary God? Yes, we are going to say hi to Ian the Sanctuary God, but I need to go get the pendant first. So, we're going to go do that. We're going to go do that, and then we're going to go straight in there. We're going to go do DLC, because that's what I do for you guys. I want to bring you the content that you want to see. Yep, Ian is going to love my new armaments, absolutely. Okay. So, uh, right. So we need to go to... I've actually gone to the... I actually need to go here. So, uh, quick question. Anyone know this off the top of your head? The, the boars outside the Duke's archives, uh, can they be poison slash toxic? Anyone know that off the top of their head? New mob where you kick the knives instead of throwing them. Yep. Do I speak something else apart from English? Uh, a little bit of Italian. Abbiamo comprato una scimmia verde. See, incredible Italian. Amazing. Not, to not toxic. Poison, yes. That's interesting. I wonder what the logic behind that is. So they can be poisoned, but not toxic. Okay. Well, good thing we got some poison knives. Why would you... Oh, Baron actually understood what I was asking. <laughs> Amazing. Do you speak Italian, Baron? The boys are the only enemies in the game who can be poisoned but not toxic. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, Baron's castle is half Italian. I did not know this. Incredible. Okay, let's go and slay this Pompanara. Come on. Ow. <laughs> Too close. Too close. Actually, even if I do this, how... Ah. God damn, that lock-on is uh, not the best. Ah, so, how, how are you guys doing? Hey, JK, just wanted to say... You're easily my top three favorite YouTubers right now. Keep it up, bro. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Well, while uh, while we're waiting for this uh, obviously extremely exciting battle to conclude, um, 
Shall I, shall I share with you guys a bit of a, a controversial bombshell about something upcoming? Um, no, he cannot leave the hallway. So, uh, next week, I'm going to drop a video. It's a challenge run video. But it's a challenge run that is not in a FromSoft game. Right? Highly controversial. Very controversial thing to do. But it's happening next week. Blasphemy. <laughs> Boo. And no, it's not it's not Lords of the Fallen, Press's favorite game of all time. Uh no, it's not. I'm not gonna spoil what it is. Uh I'll be dropping the usual post on Tuesday to say what it is, so you guys can uh, find out then. No, it's not uh it's not Pokemon. I no no joke, I I did consider doing some Pokemon stuff, but I, I feel like, you know, so I've, I've heard some people say soul stuff is overdone for challenge runs, but if soul stuff is overdone, Pokemon stuff is farmed into oblivion. So, Power World for sure. No, I'm not, uh, it's not Power World, but I might do a stream of Power World sometime just for fun, because um, I'm pretty interested to play that. Uh, looks pretty jokes. Okay, there we go. Favorite Pokemon? Tyranitar. Tyranitar is my boy. Okay. There we go. Come on. Come up the stairs. Come up the stairs. Okay. This is obviously going to be a really exciting fight. Definitely not boring in any way. There we go. Hey, Pepe Souls. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. Metagross is the best Pokemon. Uh, yeah, I like Metagross. Metagross is cool. But did you consider Metagross... Oh, Mr. Metagross. My guy, my guy. Uh... No, I, I, Metagross is, is definitely a cool Pokemon, 100%. But yeah, Tyranitar is my number one. Tick, tick. Oh my god. Dude, why are you bringing back my PTSD, man? Why you do Why you gotta do that to me? I'm, I'm just trying to have a nice stream here, and you gotta, you gotta bring back that stuff. Okay. Favorite starting Pokemon, though? Uh, uh, Swampert. Swampert. All right. Come on. Have fun with the rest of the stream. Got to go. All right. See you, buddy. Okay. It's nice that it takes only two poison knives to uh, poison him up. <clears throat> when the knife hits that boar and then it hits the floor, that's Fang Bore. Okay. Right. Right, right. So, nearly there. Okay. Okay. Alright, so, uh... Do you have a Discord channel? I... I don't. I... I so... I, I... I don't, to be honest. I, I think I might actually, of all the... Of all the Souls YouTube guys, I think I might be, like, the only one that doesn't have a Discord. And, to be honest, I kind of don't want to have one, because... Like, it's just, it's just a lot of extra work managing it, and I physically, do, like, if you guys saw what my work schedule is like of actually getting videos out, you'd be amazed that I ever get anything done. Um, so, uh, like, part of me just doesn't, don't feel I could handle the extra 
workload, aggro, stress, whatever you want to call it, of uh, running a Discord server as well. So, hijack Press's Discord? Nah, I think uh, I, I think Press is is doing swimmingly with that. Did, did any of you guys see Press's streams where he uh, he summoned his community to be Elden Ring? That was legit some of my favorite streams that I've ever seen anyone do. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm ho I'm hoping sometime that uh, Press might do it again, but for you know console players, hint hint, nudge nudge. Okay. Does the JK actually stand for Just Knives? Close. It stands for Justice Knives. So, pretty similar. Just tell everyone to meet in a park what, somewhere once a month to talk about JK lead stuff. Yeah, good, yeah, good idea. Good idea. We can, we can, maybe I can even pay for the flights of the people who don't live in the... Uh... Oh my god, I just realized this is, this is going to be awful. How the hell am I going to kill all these dudes? Okay, come on down this way, buddy. Ow. Oh my god. This is this is this is gonna suck so much. Oh my god. It literally never occurred to me how bad this is gonna be. Uh what do I do? maybe like Maybe I need to lure the golem down here. Maybe that would be a good shout. Love, love the archives, said no one ever. You know what? I, I think the archives is probably my favorite of the late game areas. Of uh, Maybe that's not saying too much. What is this guy doing? He's just like... Just like wandering back and forth confused. Okay, well, that only took, like, quite a lot of knives. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Okay, uh... Love the archives. Yeah, uh, I've read that bit. Honestly, the archives is the best, Lord Solar. Yeah, I, I do agree. I, I do think the archives is legit the best of the Lord Soul areas. But, yeah, also agree to whoever said that the... Path to Seath is absolutely unnecessary. Like having to have, having to run that near two minute gauntlet every single time is uh, pretty awful. Oh god, this is gonna suck. Maybe they maybe they all get confused on the way down, like that one did. Oh well, okay, that one certainly helped me out there. Committing suicide. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Okay. So, Kukuri. Obviously, these guys 100% cannot be bled. But, it's doing a bit of bear damage. Oh, look at that. Oh. Whoa, hold on, hold on. Did these crystal, did the crystal guy just get bled? <laughs> <laughs> you see him tumbling down. Okay, I did not expect them to be able to be bled. I'm a big fan of the bit in the demon rooms with a thousand tourist demons in a row because the designers wanted to take an early lunch. Yeah, th that really does just scream like someone opened a level editor and just uh, just dotted everything around, didn't they? Um, so, okay. Ow. Where'd the golem go? He he's just like smashing furniture. Okay, come on, buddy. Come on down. Oh, okay. Come on. Nearly there. Now, I, I, I like the bit in Los... I like the bit in Los Isolith where all of those uh, half 
dragons are there. Just uh, just those, those legs just bounding around in the lava while you're losing health constantly. That's probably my favorite bit. <laughs> I don't know why, just the sound effect in the sight of uh, the javelin just bouncing off the golem is pretty funny. There we go. Okay. Good stuff. All right. All right. So we can go do the DLC now, right? Oh. Okay. So I suppose we should probably like stock up. How are we doing? Okay. Kukri is nearly... We're pretty much depleted there, so... It'd be sensible if I deposit all these and go stock up buying some more. And probably the same with the javelin, to be honest. So let's go do that. Let's go do that, and then we're going to go do the DLC. DLC, of course, standing for Deep Leads Cuts, which is what these knives are going to do. Right, so, Chamber of the Princess. Uh, Babs, do you, Babs the Junior, do you need anything? Yes, I need to love you for the rest of my life. Ah. Master, oh, I, I actually missed that last time. Master Javelin, Master Projectile could be called a knife given to JK Leeds for being an awesome content creator. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Ah, good stuff. Also, can you get him some more knives? Just rubbing it in that everyone else here is seeing. <laughs> Sorry, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, stop, uh, I'll stop mentioning it. All right. Um, okay. So, let's go, let's go get some more knives! Okay, well, this run, it's been something unpredictable, but in the end it's right. I hope you have the time of your knife. Stop being happy, please. Yeah, sorry, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be miserable from now on. I'll, I'll put on this face for the rest of the run. Do, 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 Okay, right. So, uh, this is, this is going to be an exciting moment for the stream once I uh, get set up. Um, do you want me to leave the chat? Would that be better? <laughs> it's going to be an exciting moment for the run uh, because we're finally going to see Ian the Painting Guard on stream who's been a popular character within uh, my Dark Souls runs. Bush. Bush. My favorite part in Dark Souls 1 is where JK gets a divorce and is no longer happy. Wow. Wow. <laughs> ah. JK, because of you, I always call him Ian the Sanctuary Guard. Thanks a lot. Well, that's what, that's what his name is. That's what his name is. You've got Ian the Sanctuary Guard. You've got uh, also um, Ian the Painting Guards. There's quite a lot of Ian the Painting Guards knocking around. JK, thank you for your content. I like your DS videos and your jokes are funny. Have fun. Thank you. See that, Babs? Somebody said my jokes are funny. Okay. My favorite part in any Dark Souls is the Poison Swamp. I love that. What about when the Elden Ring DLC comes out and there's a Death Blight Swamp? Are you right guys ready for that? I sure am. Oh, Lemon. Hello, my friend. Yes, I do have a face. I do have a face. Obviously, skin colored, skin uh, colored makeup on so that my green skin doesn't show because ob obviously all those uh, prejudiced green skin uh, terms and conditions YouTube has.
Have you have you heard it also? So um, Lemon actually, uh, uh, Lemon also has recently released an energy drink, um, a, speci a specific energy drink that he's uh, sponsoring from his YouTube channel. It's called uh, Lime Energy. Okay. Ah, that makes sense. Glad you found a way around it. Excellent. Uh, okay, so... Uh, what do we need? We need to go to Anor Londo. Liza P is amazing, JK. You should definitely play it. Yeah, I will. I will, at some point. Promise you. Maybe, maybe once we get done with this, maybe I'll, I'll stream Liza P or, or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Life gives lemons, make lime energy. God. Oh, oh, Baron. Oh, 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 God. Oh, God. Awkward. I might have to just end the stream now after that comment. Shots fired. Yeah, shot one shot's fired. One shot's fired. Okay. Right. Got to... God, I can't, I can't believe I have to do this again. I've got to go for the, uh, I've got to, got to go for the the Sen's Fortress jump again. Excuse, excuse me. Can you, can you move out the way? Can you move out the way? Oh my God, this guy. There we go. Thank you. Finally. Bloody hell. Ah, <sighs> well, we're back here again, back to what for some reason has appears to be a central point of my videos, doing the sense jump. Okay, come on, don't, don't, fl don't. Oh, okay, okay, good. Good, honestly, I feel like jumping for joy after that. Right, let's go get these. Can't, wait, oh yeah, waiting for the, uh, DLC release, can't start the run without having access to giant firebombs. Yep, exactly. I am excited as hell for that release. Can't wait to, uh, can't wait to use that sweet throwing knife Asher war that's going on. I think this run is pre-recorded or something. No, it's completely live press. Stop that. Stop that nonsense. Just incredible. 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 Guarantee you will not ever see somebody do that jump on any other any other stream, any other video. It's only here. Only here that it gets done. Damn. That that boom is like really loud in my ear whenever it happens. Is that is that loud for you guys as well? I feel like it's about to burst my goddamn ear jumps. Okay. Who the heck are you and what did you do with JK Lee? Actually, well, do you know what? And this is this is a uh, this is something I'm going to reveal now. JK actually stands for Jump King, right? Because I make that jump every goddamn time. Never missed it. The bomb is already always overly loud for some reason. Yeah, it's, it's literally... It, I, 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 it happens and I, I feel like it's the bomb going outside outside my house. Like it's, yeah, pretty intense. All right, so... Um, now... I was going to ask if Ian the Painting God, uh, sorry, Ian the Painting God, Ian the Sanctuary God can be poisoned, but actually it doesn't matter. I know he can be bled, and that's probably all we need. <sighs> yeah, yeah, that's true. That giant must have been a super early preview of the giant pots from the Elden Ring DLC. I wonder if you'll be able to use the Force equivalent miracle in the Elden Ring DLC to blast them back as well. That'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, okay, there we go. <sighs> I'm I'm not even gonna kill these enemies here. They're pretty they're pretty bush league, to be honest. So let's head down into the I am group garden. And I'm, I'm, ho I'm hoping now, I'm terrified now that I'm going to get down here and I've forgotten some step to open the DLC and it's going to be mega embarrassing. But I think I'm, I'm fine. I've, I've spoken to Dusk. 
I've got the got the pendant. It's all good. Oh. I'm not used to you talking normally. I need a barrage of jokes. I, I, I intersperse them here and there, but yeah, not every single word can be, unfortunately. Can you, can you beat Dark Souls without having a mental breakdown after dying to an early game boss 500 times because the weapon I have does abysmal damage? No, it's impossible. It's literally impossible. Okay. Okay. Not sure if you're sad because you finished the last chapter or because there were giant fire pots. Ah. <sighs> All right, here we go. DLC time, baby. Let's get this done. Let's get this done. I mean, there's literally no reason not to. We're not going to get any higher damage or anything, so might as well just go for it. What about an enemy random riser run? Yeah, I, I could maybe look into that at some point. Oh, good. Okay, the portal is there. I was, uh, I, 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 I was genuinely scared I was going to get here, and it wasn't going to be. JK, can you tell us more about your favorite anime? Um, yeah, that's a good question. I... I mean... Th there's a lot of good ones. There's a lot of good ones. I, I mean, Dr Dragon Ball Z obviously like kind of is the, the standard answer I give just because it's my, my childhood, effectively. Um, but... Uh, so... Yeah, I mean, it's hard for me to put anything above that just because of the, the impact it had on me and the fact it introduced me to anime as a whole. Um, but, you know, th there's there's a lot of good ones. I, I, To be honest, I would have spoken really highly about Attack on Titan, but I only literally about two weeks ago watched the final chapters and, God, did they sort of butcher that. Like, I, I, really, I, I really was very disappointed with that. Um... And I, I don't think I'm alone in that, but the whole end, the whole end bit um, with and the conversation between Eren and Armin, like I feel like they just absolutely destroyed Eren's character. The twist that he he made the Titan kill his mother. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I don't know. I, I probably shouldn't say it in case no one else is. Uh, other people haven't seen it yet. But yeah, it was it, it was it was pretty bad, pretty bad. Uh. Oh, hold on. One shot video is halfway completed. Wow. Okay. Okay. That is a beautiful update. Um, very excited for that lemon, by the way. Um, but yeah, Attack on Titan like had a super disappointing ending for me. Um, and like uh, up until the end of season three, I would have really put it up there. But the whole, you know, I, I was I was really not feeling the whole final season, and then I was sort I was hoping that the final episode would have something to kind of bring it back and have it all make sense. But um, yeah, it just actually made it much worse. So yeah. Ah. <sighs> so give give it another year or so. Oh my god, Lemon's got two. Wow, Lemon's doing some outsourcing, yo. Um, wow. Okay, Lemon. So. Is there a chance that the video will come out before the one year anniversary of when we started this contest, which is May? Um, yeah, May. I think that's when we started it, right? It's probably probably the most anticipated video in the Souls community. No shot. No, come on. Have some. Have faith. Have faith. That way, I can force you to start. That yeah. I, I, God. That. I, just to put it in perspective, our son wasn't born when the one-shot challenge happened, and he's now nearly two. <laughs> Jesus, Babs. Um, I am. Yeah, I, I, I'm. Do you know? What, do you know? What, I'm actually terrified of the fact it's.
because I know what I know. I'm pretty sure I know what it's going to be, and I, I have a suspicion it's going to be a game which I'm currently having to do four playthroughs through for my next video. Um, so th the thought of ha of finishing this and then having to do another what will no doubt be a brutally long run in that game just gives me the shivers right now. To be honest. Okay. Anyway, on that note. Shall we do Ian the Sanctuary Guard? Hopefully, first try. Let's get the content on the go. Will that full playthrough one be a Dark Souls 2 all magic type challenge? I, I couldn't possibly confirm or deny. Help. Right, come on, Ian. You and me, baby. Okay. That was a pretty shocking attack, to be fair. Okay, there we go. And again. Nice, okay, bleed. And Ian's really got an electric personality today. There we go. Whoop. How did I dodge that? How did I dodge that? Didn't want to risk it there. Didn't want to risk it. All right. There we go. Whoop. And whoop. Okay, so two lots of those procs of bleed, which is pretty sweet. We take that. We do take that. Three and four. There we go. There was a real sting in that tail there. <laughs> he just literally shot it right into the ground in front of him. Okay. Whoop. I swear that like hit me right in the face, but somehow, somehow I dodged it. Come on. Oh, that staggered him there. That was that was the perfect time for it to stagger him as well. Out. First try. Okay. Oh. Press continue. Honestly, you two are made for each other. No one, no one tell JK's wife, well, she's literally right there, Lemon. She's just seen it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was, it was almost no hit. Uh, I just, I made that one mistake at the end, but, oh, well. Oh, well. Yeah, see you, Ian. You had a good run. Poor Ian, just doing his job. Yep, he was just guarding the sanctuary. You know, he was one day away from retirement as well, but what can you do? End of a chimera. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Okay. Uh, is there any even point leveling up anything? I'm kind of like, 
I should probably just stock up on more knives. Time for the hardest boss in this mod? Yeah, I, I imagine this is probably going to be pretty difficult. Um, Alright, well... I don't, I don't necessarily need to stock up yet, because I've still got some in storage here. So, we could just, could just keep going. Okay. Yep. I don't know, if I, if I, to be fair, if, if I buy too much stuff from, from her, I'm not going to have much room left in my inventory for anything else. <laughs> Start. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, the way I like to think of it is that, like, basically, press continue does uh, actually clever wordplay um, and shows a incredible like mastery of, of the English language with uh, all of the different word smithery that he does. Um, and I basically just go for bottom of the barrel basic puns. That's about it. And really terrible dad jokes. Okay, right. Right. Okay. Okay, we've just got to get to this bridge where we're going to have the first Kala meeting with that dragon. There are no terrible dad jokes, only listeners with terrible senses of humour. Excellent. <laughs> now, nah, Calamy definitely will not be that bad, to be honest. Like, I, I don't find Calamy too difficult. He he has, like, pretty wide windows. Um, the only bit that sucks with Calamy is the hitbox on those head swipes. But, out. Um, but... Yeah, so I, I don't think that's going to be too bad. Artorius, on the other hand, jumps around all over the place. And I can imagine the knives are missing a lot. I think that's probably going to be the most likely. Yeah, exactly. Calamite is, uh, is a much larger target. Hate that stupid goose neck. Uh, Colonel Cassidy, I thought you told me that he was your favorite boss in the whole game. Pretty sure you said that, man. Okay, there we go. Right. I tried to. Oh, you tried to fight Calamite without Goff. Yeah, I, I, I tried that one time. Um, and what well, for the when I was doing the mega archery run for Dark Souls One, uh, I actually was going to try to do that on one of the runs, um, and I just died brutally over and over again so uh yeah i gave up on it and just just beat him normally ah <sighs> okay right let's rest up there um, as I've got them, I'll, I'll stick a couple of points into vitality just for, just for the sake of it. Um, and I actually have humanity, so, like, it, I actually have liquid humanity, so maybe kindle this bonfire. More floss couldn't hurt, right? All right, let's go and get this done. Right. 
Okay, so what what do you guys think? First try? No first try? I I, I think maybe first try. Possible. Possible. Probably improbable, but possible. Run. Is it just me or does his raisin form look less frightening? Yeah, I mean, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. What do you think? I just love the way his, uh, his, his brow is like melting over his eyes. Look at that. And his nose is literally a throwing knife. First try for sure. I, yeah, I appreciate the confidence. But, yeah, not sure. Not sure. Is it even worth trying to toxic him? Is that going to help? Kind of looks like Waluigi. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. I see that. I see that. All right. Is this going to be a good day? Or is this going to be good night? I think there's going to be a real art form to this fight. Toxic's active for a very long time, so possibly, yeah, yeah, good point, good point. Yeah. I actually realised I've only got the poison equipped, so. Yeah, it's just, it's just going to be trying to find a window here to actually get a hit in. It's going to be tough. Yeah, there we go. Thought that would happen. There we go. Yeah, this is... This is going to be painful. I can feel it already. Ow. Oh, come on. Ah. Oh. Nope. Fluffed it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, that is definitely going to be difficult. JK, is it true that you have a notorious body pillow? Who told you that? Okay. Right, so... Uh, yeah, I... I feel like the javelin maybe is the best, best way to go. Um... Because trying to proc, proc any status on him is going to be tough. Yeah, Toxic. I, yeah, I, I really don't know about Toxic. I don't, I don't think... I didn't even get... Uh, managed to get a bleed there at all. Fun fact, all the Knights of Gwyn have the uh, armor next to each other in the menu. Well, of course, they're brothers in arms. So, kind of looks like the guys from Avatar. Okay. When I watch J.K. Lee's, I start leading all over my desk. I wonder how painful a no-status abuse Elden Ring archery-only run would be. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm gonna... I'm. 
basically, when the DLC comes out, I think I'm going to do the mega archery run for Elden Ring as well. The same kind of thing that I've done for Dark Souls 3. Um, so yeah, that should be pretty good. I thought about doing it now, but it kind of doesn't make sense. Might as well leave it until the... I'm going to stop commenting if you turn everything I say into a pun. Never. That, that's, uh, that is what we do here. That is what we do here, Mr. Pepe Souls. Okay. Bows don't seem as bad in Elden Ring. I, I don't think bows are that bad in any of the games, to be honest. Can, can, can you hear, like, Artorius, like, breathing there? Is that, is that what that sound is? He's, he's doing, like, some proper Darth Vader-type breathing right outside the door. I've never noticed that before. Right. So, how much damage are we going to be getting here? Okay, yeah, it's not uh, not stellar, is it? But that's still something. Ow. Oh, wow, that did loads more. I guess that must have been a, like a counter hit, and we've got the Leo ring on. Great stuff. Oh my god, why why do I suck at dodging that so much? There we go. Finally managed to dodge that. Terrible effort before. Oh, there we go. That was good. That was good. Oh, okay. That's also good. Oh, I thought I dodged it. Never mind. Okay. That counter damage is pretty good. I don't think I can stop it. Well, now I'm in trouble. That was weird. Why did he do the jump so close? Nah. Nah, nah, nah. Ah, that was that was very unfortunate. That was much better though. That was much better. JK, why aren't you green? Uh skin colored makeup. Oh. Yeah, that, that was uh, unfortunate. Very unfortunate. 
Mr. Leeds, has fatherhood improved your pun ability? Uh, I, I think so. If you ask my wife, she'll probably tell you that I was always, uh, always like this. It's still the first time, so yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, character is turquoise. Uh, when I'm not human, then he, yeah, the, the color goes a bit more turquoise, basically. Okay, well, I need to stock up again, unfortunately. Those were just practice runs, don't worry, yeah. Ah, uh, that was unfortunate. That was, uh, that was a good run. It was just running out of the... Running out of the javelins, uh, at, uh, at literally the point when he went to buff was pretty unfortunate. Um, I think the only way you can actually... We actually can stagger him out of it is we, if we hit him in the head. I think that's the only reason I was able to do it the first time was because I got the javelin to hit him in the head while he was charging up. Got to go, but glad I could stop by. Totally a coincidence that I won't be able to watch you fight the goose. Yeah, I, you, don't, you want to avoid that PTSD, I'm sure. Okay, let's go. Out. 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 Let's go. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, this one is, uh, this one's definitely going to be tough. I, I reckon this is definitely going to be tougher than Calamite. Probably similar difficulty to Manus, maybe. Um, it might actually be an idea to go and get some Firekeeper Souls. Uh, just because, like, that tiny, tiny amount of healing is, uh, yeah, not a good time. Oh my god, they're still coming, they're still coming. They're, they're still coming for me. Oh, hey, welcome to the Naifu Faithful. Double whammy, as I believe you're also on the Patreon as well, right? Thank you, my friend. Cuckoos might headshot him a bit easier during the buff. I don't know how much free aiming would help, though. I sucked it up and fought in buff through, though. Yeah, fighting in buff is actually probably the way. Yeah, I, I do definitely think that uh, Manus is going to be significantly easier. My god, this guy. Relentless. I need those sweet chuck emotes. Yeah, that's, that's what we need. We need as many of those in the chat as possible. Old oak and strong I am. Yes. Yes, you are. Okay. Right, I'm going to go deposit those off. Okay. Right, I'm going to go and deposit those off and then go get some more. Um, yeah, maybe that that's one thing. I don't know if it's possible... Um, don't know if it's possible, Pepe Souls. Is there any way to add to the mod so that basically when you buy stuff and you can't hold any more of it, it goes straight to the bottomless box? Or is that not possible? Uh, just to save having to run back and forth from bonfires. Yeah, Bab Babs is actually going to come onto stream at some point. Uh, she's actually going to do the Dark Souls 2 DLCs. She's going to play them. Okay, let's go and drop these off. I mean, absolute worst case scenario, I, I could actually drop 10 javelins outside, uh, outside the boss gate and then go grab them, couldn't I? That would also be an option. Can you beat Dark Souls 2 while JK leaves whispers puns in your ear? I mean, she did actually recently beat Dark Souls 2, and I was pretty consistently whispering puns into her ear, so she has actually achieved that. Although she didn't do the DLCs, so still that. Can't wait to see Bab's DS2 stream. <laughs> oh, no. oh no, it started. It started. Ah. Oh. 
Okay, let's go get some more. Um, all right, and uh, yeah, I, I think probably I need to go get some Firekeeper Souls, guys. Hi, hello, hello. New mod where it randomly plays clips of Dark Souls 2, uh, of, no, of, uh, new mod where it, oh my god, these guys. New mod where it makes, plays clips of, Do, of JK Leeds making puns. Yeah, that's it. That's the plan. Let's grab this while we're here as well. JK Leeds is DS2 confirmed. Yep. You've, uh, you've rumbled me there, Baron. You could kill the Firekeeper outside for an easy Firekeeper soul. You could resupply on Javelins immediately, too. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I, I am... I'm wondering if I need that Anor Londo bonfire to be able to actually rest at it, because I can still warp there. So, yeah, that is a fair point. There is also the one in Blight Town, which I didn't get. There's, there's even the one in the Undead Parish, which I didn't get. So, um, yeah, totally could do that. Let's see, have we got Onward Burn? Yeah. Can I provide the throwing knife sounds for the next video? Sure, go for it. Ah, okay. Okay. So, uh, well, yeah, let's go get this one at the Undead Parish first. That's probably like easiest one to get, isn't it? So, let's go and get this. I have a theory, JK is actually the giant smith. Uh, okay, sure. If JK is DS2, does that make dad jokes the first sin? Yeah, it does. It does indeed make dad jokes sin the first sin the slumbering dragon. You're absolutely right. Ah. I always uh, I always feel like I do pretty well in that boss fight, sin the slumbering dragon. Always feel like I have pretty good synergy with that one. Okay, there we go. So we got that. Okay. That pun was a sin. <laughs> okay. So, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Well, yeah, let's go to Firelink Shrine. I'll go beneath there and I'll get the other Firekeeper Soul there as well. You know, I, I come here, I come here every time, and I see this name pop up there that says Fire Link, right? And I always think, like, why would you want to Fire Link? He's a great mascot for the Legend of Zelda games. Okay. Don't forget to use the soul instead of giving it to the Firekeeper. Yeah, 100%. That's actually what you're supposed to do. Let's do that right now. No response. She cannot speak. Great. I don't want to have a conversation. Okay. Minus two. <laughs> okay. There we go. Now, that is actually his last name. His actual last name is, uh, is Shrine. Link Shrine. It's, uh, it's not popularized a lot, but that is actually uh, his full name. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. JK, today's my friend's birthday. He's called Gay... <laughs> you nearly got me there. You nearly got, the, got me there. Good try. Good try. 
I don't want to get the stream demonetized savagely by uh, by saying that. When Lodric keeps the kills the firekeeper, how long does the firelink bonfire go out? For uh, well, until until you go to Anor Londo and then you do the invasion and kill Lodric there, and then you get her soul and you can give it back to her. Oh, we killed this guy earlier, which is pretty handy. God, I hate those guys. Just relentlessly... Oh, there we go. Toxic. Well, I'm pretty much dead now. Just need to grab the soul. Just need to grab it. Let me grab it. Let me grab it. Okay. Okay. Not that this is going to give a massive boost mine, but still, it's something, isn't it? Die! <laughs> That's slide animation. I, I did that purposefully. I didn't have a homeward bone, obviously. Okay. 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 Right. So let's go and use that. Uh, yep. Oh, yeah. Good point. Go. I, I, you know what? I literally always forget about that one in New Londo. But you're right. That is a great shout. Thank you, thank you, Von Luster. Much appreciated. Okay. So, there we go. Let's go back, back on down here. Yeah, I, I'm always, I'm always a big fan of New Londo, you know? It's just, it's much more contemporary than Old Londo. Old Londo's a bit too vintage. Do you think the Elden Ring DLC will have more golden seeds? Um, yeah, I, I I guess. But I don't know. Will they have any of the DLCs allowed you to improve your Estus more? I'm replaying Bloodborne right now, and I think it might be the easiest Soul Spawn game to get lost in. Uh, okay, yeah, interesting, interesting. I guess I I, I feel like I know it fairly well by now. Um, do you know what what uh what what area in any of the games you guys get the most lost and confused in? For me, hundred percent, it's still that sewer pipe bit in Elden Ring, um, in the you know the subterranean shunning grounds. That bit confuses the hell out of me every single time, uh, without fail, um, and I literally always get, <laughs> I literally always get lost. Woods in Bloodborne. Yeah, I, I, I did used to find that pretty confusing. Um, but I, I, I kind of know the, the route through now. Um, but yeah, that, that's probably number two for me. First try, GG. Yeah, absolutely. The whole of Dark Souls 2. Oh, the teleporting chest side tomb. Oh, God. Yeah, that's also terrible. That's also absolute nightmare. Shaded Woods, yeah. Shaded Woods is, uh, it's pretty short though. I find that I can I can go through that pretty quickly. I I I give, you know, a lot of bad areas. I give a pass if they're actually pretty quick. Like, a lot of people, a lot of people, if, if they're talking about like worst area in Elden Ring, right, will probably say uh, Lake of Rot, um, well, which which is obviously shit. Like, I'm not going to try and say it's good, but. Uh, I c you can at least blast through there pretty quickly. Like it doesn't, the swamp doesn't slow your movement. Like, uh, like the swamp of sorrow in Demon Souls, I find way worse for that. Um, but uh, the subterranean shunning grounds, that area just always feels like it takes forever. Like there's never, I never managed to get through there quickly, and I always get lost and confused. Okay, go, go. Right, time to ghost these women. Boom. Yeah, World 5 and Demon Souls. Yeah, Black Black Gold yeah, also also really short. Kind of kind of annoying. O only really annoying because they added that um 
They, they, because they, they added that guy that you need to unpetrify with a fragrant branch right before the bonfire in Scholar. That's pretty irritating. But... There is no bad area in a Souls game. It's always a skill issue. Okay, my friend. Okay. Oh, yeah. The Lake, the lake of Rot Dragonkin. That can... I, I literally think I've done that, like, once or twice. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't intend to do it again anytime soon. That That is just absolutely awful. Okay. All right. So, upgraded the floss to plus three. Um, so, I guess, yeah. Cool. Let's give it another crack. Give it another go. Mountain ships, mountain tops is a pretty dog shit area. I have zero incentive to ever do anything except sprint through. Um, yeah, I, 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 I would agree that of the big, like, region areas, it is definitely my least favorite. Uh, I, I don't hate it. Um, although that, that puzzle at that tower where you have to find the invisible bridge that's all the way on the other side of the chasm is pretty ridiculous. Um, like, I, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Uh, also, I was playing offline when I got there first time, so I never actually saw any messages. And whatever clue it's giving you about the snow appearing on the path is just absolute nonsense, because literally nothing is visible there. Yeah, tor Torrent is disabled in the Lake of Rock. Okay. All right, let's let's do this. Let's see if I can actually do it. See if I can actually do Artorius. I don't hold high hopes for this, to be honest, but let's give it a go. Okay. I must be thinking about another area of rot. Yeah, in Kaled, there is a swamp of rot as well, which you can run through with Torrent. It's going to be easy. Oh, how I wish that was the case. How I wish that was the case. Okay. All right. Guys, if there's any members there in the in the chat still, please can you hit me up with some chuck emojis so that we can uh so so that I can I can kind of channel my chakra to get this done. Cuz uh yeah, we need it. We need it 100%. I'm just going to take a swig of water. Yeah, there we go. Good man, those raging chucks are literally exactly what I need. Okay. Cool. God damn. <laughs> why, why do I suck so bad at dodging that? Okay. Okay, that's a pretty significant increase to the healing. So that's good news already. Okay. Oh, okay. I think I dodged too early. I think I dodged too early. That's my problem with this. I was pretty reckless, but I got the hit in somehow. Okay. There's only like maybe two attacks where I feel pretty confident actually hitting him. Oh, man. Not doing well at dodging that one, though. And that is a good window normally. Okay, let's heal up. There we go. Okay. Okay. If 
But that's the thing. The the slash attack, which I've been healing on with it as well, is better because you do get the counter damage. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay, I got it there. There we go. Okay. Ah. Oh. There we go. That's what we like. We love that attack. Okay, but we're out of javelins now. Which is not good news. How many of these kukri is it going to take to bleed him as well? I don't think I got a single one last time. Oh, right in the head. Good stuff. Oh, dodge. Ow. In the head as well. Good. But not much damage. Oh, headshot, headshot. Oh, finally we got a bleed. Finally. There we go. Okay. All right, I don't want to risk it because he's just going to dodge, isn't he? He's just going to dodge it. We're getting close to night night. I don't want to get cocky, but we're getting close to night night. Ow. Shouldn't have jinxed it. Shouldn't have jinxed it. <laughs> okay. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Okay. Damn it. That's not good. Okay. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Damn it. Damn it. That attack again. So close. So close. Yeah, it's night night for. Uh, yeah, it's no, it was night night for me. Yeah, fail, fail. That was very unfortunate. Okay, uh, how are we doing? Well, all right. Well, we got enough for. Sad to see the death. Lovely to catch the stream. Yeah, I mean, it happens. It was unfortunate. It was unfortunate. But, you know, that's how it goes. Right. I'm going to have a, another crack at it. Um, I'm going to have, yeah, one more one more crack. Uh, but, yeah, if I don't do it here, I'm afraid that I will... I need to go after this, guys. Got to get little man ready for bed. So...
let's uh, let's see what we can do on this final attempt. Um, but yeah, if not, all good. We'll pick it up on another stream, so no no stress. It can definitely be done. Definitely can be done. But um, yeah, just uh, tricky, isn't it? Hey, JK, would you consider doing a similar bow crossbow run in Elden Ring? Um, yes, uh, I actually have thought about that. Um, and I was I was going to do it, but then they dropped the DLC trailer, and I kind of feel like I should probably wait for the DLC now to do it. So probably we'll do that when the DLC comes out uh, in a few months' time. Mr. Lees, do you have any bosses you think are relatively easy compared to how people rate them difficulty-wise? Um, so, uh, Midir probably is top of my list for that, actually. Like, loads of people bang on about Midir being the hardest, like, one of the hardest bosses in the whole series. Also, Nameless King, um, for similar reasons. But I, I find both of them actually, like, pretty easy. Uh, the moves are very telegraphed. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't really struggle with those. Medir, especially, like, the, his moves are very, very telegraphed and very slow. He does a lot of damage, but, um, yeah, I find it pretty easy to just dodge him and hit the head. Uh, the fight does take ages, though, because he does have a metric ton of HP and resistances. Okay. Right. One last crack. Oh, that counter damage is just so good, though, isn't it? Oh, man. It's that attack, that attack. I just don't think I'll ever be able to avoid it consistently. Thank you. We like that. was very annoying. Very unfortunate. Wasted a javelin. Give me a bit more of that attack. Oh, I could have could have done it then, but oh, good. Okay, I swear I'm not dodging at any different time. It's just uh, seems random as to whether I avoid that or not. Oh. oh no, I didn't dodge my favorite attack. Okay. I shouldn't try to punish that if I'm in that position. Come on.
Ah. Okay, come on, come on. <laughs> yes! That was excellent. Hit him in the head as he was going backwards. What was that? What the actual hell was that? That that missed? That was unbelievable. Ah. Nah, he just dodges too much. I'm trying to get him too often. Lead. There we go, finally. Ah. Oh, dodge too early. Okay. Need to use this time to heal. There we go. Oh, right in the head. Beautiful. Yeah, headshot. I'm getting so many lucky headshots here. It's a shame it's not doing loads of damage. Wait, did he buff or did he not buff? I actually can't tell. Did, did I? I think I interrupted it at literally the last minute. There's <laughs> so many headshots. Oh, ow. Basically, if I can proc one more bleed, I think that should do it. Night, night, baby. That was true art form. Ah, oh. I'm pretty. I'm pretty happy that we we got that. It would have been a bit of a downer note if I'd ch choked at the last minute there. Oh, sorry. I probably missed about a million chat messages there, but I had to just give full focus. Um, Fortnite. Yeah, that's that's good stuff. Right. Ah. Oh. Well, I guess next time we'll continue along with the rest of the DLC. Um, so, yeah, thank you. Yeah, first try, first try, obviously. Okay, well, guys, thank you so much for coming, watching. Uh, those that have donated, become members and all that kind of stuff. It is super greatly appreciated. Um, I hope you've had a fun three hours just watching me uh, talk rubbish and just play this game. So, um, yeah, thank you very much. Have a good one and see ya.